Hello there friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I am very excited to be here with you today. Thank you new and seasoned friends for stopping by. Hello to all the drive-bys. I love drive-bys just as well who love to watch hauls, which is what we're here today. So I have been in a little bit of a video filming slump, but I've been coloring like crazy and I think I've been shopping a little too much, but I don't remember the last time I've done a haul. So I got a bunch of random stuff. We're going to do supplies first because they're piled up and they're going to fall over. Probably actually have more supplies than books, which seasoned friends know I'm trying not to because I make my husband buy them for me. Okay, you're not going to be able to see this. Well, there you go. You can see these are some baskets. I just got these at Dollar Tree. Okay, now first of all, hello everybody. Is it not your favorite time of year called back to school? I think for everyone that's into coloring, this is the best time of the year because there's some ankle supplies. Okay, yeah, seriously, Kathy, maybe show this, Lift, move the camera. So this is a pretty decent sized basket. They're not super sturdy, but I am always in need of baskets to keep my piles of books because I have a pretty small coloring space, like half the size of a card table, and I have stacks of books all the time. Right now I have stacks of tag books I'm trying to finish coloring, or I have probably seven tags I need to film, and I have those books in a different spot. So, when and as I say this, a cat is going to try and jump up here. When I have them piled in stacks on my desk, inevitably they get knocked over by a cat. So, I just bought these because they were a dollar a piece, super cute colors, and I just need them to sort out my coloring books. And what I like about them is they're tall enough to hold so let's just grab here here's a regular size coloring book you can see fits in there you see how much it sticks over so i can stand them up and flip through and it'll hold quite a few so baskets two of them for supply and now we're going to put supplies into the baskets as I show you. So we're doing all the Dollar Tree items first. Uh, I will apologize, it is hot. It's called summer and I don't do hot so I have a fan blowing on me. If you hear that, that is the noise. It's better than my husband snoring, which that happens as well. He's not home at the moment. He'll probably get home by the time I finish this. I was excited to find these. I have no idea. I know I've seen other people purchase them or receive them and it's a crafter square pencil and brush organizer you can see it comes it's got a base and then here's your slotted and you just pop it up so i only bought one they had several now this is me normally i'd about several but it's got 49 spots and it's not so much that i need it for brushes but again cats i thought this would be helpful when i'm working on a page for the um, markers or gel pens and stuff that I'm using when I'm that I've been using on the page I can still keep them out standing up in here so they're easy to find when I need the color again because that also happens all the time need the color so if I find this to be a good deal and sturdy I might buy more but like I said it has this is the first time I've seen them at my Dollar Tree they've been out a long time granted I maybe go once a month to Dollar Tree so if you are not a big Dollar Tree shopper or haven't been there recently, they have expanded their whole crafting section and Crafter Square, I think, is their brand. Yep, you'll see it again. So go check it out. Some of their stuff, eh, not so great, but a lot of it for a dollar, it's a good deal. So I got those. I, I picked these up. Do I know why? I don't know why. I don't journal. They had um, the Happy Planner. Now these are name brand. If you bought these at Michael's, they heck yeah, would have been more than a dollar. So I bought, there was the seasonal and the watercolor. Now I don't do like traditional planning, journal planning or whatever, but I do like to put stickers on pages and like there's some really cute, nice quotes for a uh, middle of a mandala or just I like to put them on letters because I do mail out letters you know these little flowers and stuff could be accents 
So for a dollar, you get a lot of stickers here. So tell me, 1,007, 1,000, <laughs> 1,078. And then I bought the seasonal pack, similar, more to decorate pages or use, oh, maybe I could use some of those this time of year. So I don't, I won't use all of them that I think of, you know, to do's, not sure, but they're cute. It was a dollar for each of these. These are me and my big ideas. Definitely worth the price. Then some totally random, uh, needed some scotch tape. I never have any. Don't know so much that I needed for coloring, but I needed it on my desk. Yes, I did. Along the tape lines, this is a new Dollar Tree has, well, we call it washi tape, but it's really like paper. It's not like true washi. But so these are deco tapes and I do purchase, I've shown in my last haul, I'll link that in, some thin washi tapes, which are a pack of five that I have found at Dollar General that are a metallic. So these are fun. This is the first time I've seen them in this style. So does it tell us how much you actually get? Mm, no. Greenbrier International, FYI, um, is the Dollar Tree brand if you're always if you're curious when you're looking. But they've got some very fun designs and it's well I was gonna say color themed, but I don't know about that. But you have some patterns, you have a sparkle glitter one and a solid in each. So I use these around the outside of my pages, especially on like color by number or any page that doesn't have a frame because I'm messy and I always color outside the lines. Staying on the stickies, they have, they always have sticky notes and these I just saw were fun and I liked them because they have the little ice cream and hearts. They had other designs as well, 125 pieces. This is, this is Kathy's little bit of OCD. So when I'm tagging my pages, I, <laughs> I tend to use, I have a small pack of the, where are they? They're right here. These, the actual 3M post-it ones. And I use the blue ones for buddy colors. So this doesn't have a lot of room to write on though. So I bought this blue pack so I can write all my buddies information and then when I flag it in the page, when I do my end of the month coloring, I'll have all the info right there and hopefully not fumble as much. And this, not sure, I like these long ones. What I've actually done for tags, say you're doing a tag video with like 10, I'll take my post-it, put it this way and I'll like put the number on like the sticky side. So I'll put like one and then the prompt two. So I kind of make long strips and then I cut them apart and they stay pretty good in the book. So when you have the stack, anyway, you guys know how to use a sticky note. Seriously, who gives a long explanation how to use a sticky note? Sticky, still sticky theme. They had the cats. Now I have purchased, and I still have them right here, the sloths. I, had, I think I have another pack of these. If you're or looking for page markers or paw markers, the Dollar Tree ones are adorable, not always the best quality. I have found, and I know Jamie just mentioned this too, that when they are cut out shapes like this at the bottom, a lot of times you'll have problems and it'll tear. Of course, the example I'm going to show you, it doesn't happen. But if it's a cutout at the bottom, it doesn't always work that well. But let's see how the cats look. I've seen a couple other, but again, this is the first time I've seen the cats at my Dollar Tree. So of course I bought five of them. If you don't know, I'm a crazy cat lady. So these should be pretty good, maybe, but even that's a solid. So it's just right here I can see is where its weak point will be and it may tear, but adorable. And there are 100, so there's 25 of each. And I love them. There were more. I did not buy them all. Okay, here's just the really random stuff to show you. Um, yeah, I, bu I bought this. Aren't these beautiful? It's a three pack of toothpicks. Because I use these when I do my little mad scientist 
thing where I mix Mod Podge and pigments, primarily eyeshadow, to do painting <laughs> on my pages. And I got tired of always running to the kitchen to get toothpicks, so I have plenty to keep right here in my coloring stash. Here's another thing I always buy at the Dollar Tree for my coloring. Not my nails are naked right now, they could use it. But I get especially the glitter because I'm lazy and I'm messy. And while I love stickles and how glitter looks, now I have a cat trying to come under the table at me. Hi Frankie, you're gonna like be persistent, aren't you? Okay, oh, oh, oh you're gonna take up all the space. <sighs> Yeah, okay, that's the camera. So they had this pink color. So I will use this just like I would use stickles where I want to add some glitter, but the beauty of a nail polish, it's got a built-in applicator. Um, doesn't clog, all of that. So it, it, you know, it takes a little longer to dry and you may have to build it up. Ooh, you should see my cat's nose because I just opened this. I was gonna say, and it smells. But if you've never tried it, I've been using nail polish on my pages for a long time. I use the solids too. I'll buy like the blues to paint a sky or a background instead of drying out my um, markers. But that's my little trick. Now I have some, we're past the stickies and the stinkies. Let's go into the righties. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably too tired to be doing this, but I found, so because it's back to school, there were, some new things I had not seen. So they had two sets of highlighters. One is the Jot brand. If if you see the Jot brand at Dollar Tree, I have tried their gel pens, specifically their glitter gel pens, and their permanent markers. They are both, oh no, we don't have room for a third cat, or a second cat who's like 20 pounds. We may have to pause here, but I'm gonna try and soldier through Filming time is limited. So we have, okay, I gotta stop because he's just knocked it all down. Did I mention about the cats? Yeah, hold on. Okay, we're back. Cats have scattered. I may have <sighs> scolded them a little bit. Okay, Jot brand is worth your dollar. The permanent markers, super juicy nice pack for a dollar. So I'm hoping the same will be true for these highlighters. They had, and then this is the INC ink brand. So, um, and the colors were slightly different, but we shall see both. These are just chisel tip. These have a bullet and a chisel. So try those out. Also, in the back to school section, they had these pens, which the Zebra brand is a really good brand. They had two different kinds. They had this pack where they have the pink and the purple. And Ren Kelly recently hauled these and she did a quick little swatch and they are excellent. They're just a regular glitter, super smooth. Um, yeah, a pink and a purple would be great for like lines, dot spirals books. They also had a pack of two which were black ink. So if you want those as well, for the same reason, a great spot to pick those up. And then the best buy of the day were these, which I think I have hauled before. I don't know if they were the Wonder Woman or they had a different character on them, but for some reason, I'm sure with back to school, these were in the clearance section. So they were a quarter for four gel pens, which I know are super juicy. You can see the colors right there. Can't tell if my screen on top is having problems or if the camera lens is dirty, but I got those. Next up, uh, back to school season is planner season. So this is nothing fancy at all. We're gonna peel this off. They have different versions of planners. They have like your small purse size planner, um, a thicker style, different options for sure. I picked this one because I do like how I do my tracking every month for my pages and goals, 
but I wanted a, kind of a month at a glance. So this I liked because that's all it is, is a month at a glance, where I can make a quick note of how many pages I colored, if I'm wanting to post a video. I also want to keep track, which I have not done, and numbers aren't a big thing to me. I know I always like tell you how many pages I completed, but I don't ever mention subscriber count or follower count, because to me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I appreciate each and every one that does follow me or subscribe to me, but I don't set that as my goals because I just don't feel I have a lot of control over it since I'm unable to like do things consistently. So most people that follow me, for some reason, you guys like me. But I just thought it'd be interesting because again, I just find the statistics interesting to maybe jot that down, like what my YouTube subscribers Instagram are how many videos I posted, that kind of a thing. So I got the really basic one. And I think there were only like three different designs. This one was the best of my choices for me. Since I don't like do the whole planning, planning thing, I, I just can't, you know, fathom spending. You know, I love those beautiful planners, but yeah, not for me. Then they had a bunch of the stencils. Now I blame all of you who haul these because I have yet to use them. I even received some from my friend Jamie, um, Jamie's Coloring Love in our summer swap. If you didn't watch that, I'm going to tag or link that in too because it was super fun. But I always in see how people use these to like work on backgrounds. So the thing with the Dollar Tree stencils, they are very flimsy, very thin. So you will maybe have issues if you're trying to like ink or I, I'm not sure how good they're going to be. I'm not going to spray a fixative, but um, maybe I'll just trace some. I don't know, but they were a dollar. So we have butterflies, birds, really don't know what I'm going to use this, but I got them. Sea creatures, hearts. This is fun. This one says it's self-adhesive, so it's, it seems a little bit thicker. And we'll see how long it adheves, <laughs> adhesives, but um, party birthday. And then they had the um, wheel, the stencil wheel. So these are pretty cool. They have, you know, I guess you could see. I don't know if you'd leave this on. Oh, I guess in the example they say leave this on, so you only color that one. But I think you can maybe see them more. So this one is all different hearts. And you can use them. And here is another stencil wheel or stencil square, which has just some geometric different designs. I liked this style because this is definitely thicker. Oh, they forgot to poke out one. And it's a nice, I think it'll work with this I don't know how long this cardboard is gonna last but I can see it could be a good thing so I think that is everything from the Dollar Tree I had to show you let me rearrange and grab the next bag next stop on my shopping excursion was Walmart uh, again back to school I like scoured all the new stuff and I'll need to go there in another week or two just to check it. So these I don't think are so much coloring related, but they're so flipping cute I wanted to show them to you. They're called a backpack charm and they're just these little, oh they have plenty of packing in them, little bags and I suppose you could use this if you had like your pencil sharpener or you know small little things, your stickles or you could use them for whatever you want. I bought them because I use um, little cases like this to carry back and forth to work with my phone charger cord. I have some USB sticks. I have um, a set of headphones and they and I can just throw it in my work bag and they stay separated. So that's how I'm going to use them. And I couldn't decide, of course, obviously I wanted the cat, but then it was a purple fox and purple's my favorite color. So I bought both of those. I think they were, do they have a price on them? Oh, they don't. They were a couple bucks. And then I bought some fun stuff I'm gonna use for coloring. So I have been using 
this Mod Podge, which I did buy at Walmart, which is the satin one, when I do my little painting, as I mentioned. But I wanted to see the difference. This is the Super Gloss. Now, I think the satin leaves a nice sheen. I use it a lot to make water or whatever I want. So I wanted to get this. They didn't have smaller bottles. That's the only bad part is maybe if I'd gone to a Michaels or a craft store, I could have got the smaller bottles. But we're going to try the Super Gloss. I usually will look at the paints and pick up maybe one every time I'm there. So this, I love rose gold. So it's a metallic folk art, folk art brand rose gold. I will hopefully be using that, this in my July pages so I can show you what it looks like at the end. Every now and then they have like random name brand, well, it's Walmart. And they had these jelly roll, jelly roll moonlights and I don't think they were, I think they were like five or six bucks for this pack of five, which good, bad, good deal, bad deal. Don't know, but I love the jelly rolls and I picked that up. Then they also had, and they maybe have had these before, maybe it's not just a back to school, but I hear a lot of people talk about the Stadler, Statler, don't know how to pronounce that, twin tips. And these are supposed to be similar to like your Crayola Super Tips. They are a double ended. You got that end and a fine point. So I, before I buy like a big set, I thought, well, I want to try and see if I actually like these better or not. They are water-based, so you can use them in your double-sided books. But it was um, 10, a pack of 10. Again, don't remember what the price was, but it, was, it wasn't too much that I didn't buy it. Then this is what I was most excited about. So back to school, we got plenty of crayons. I, or crayons, markers. I use Crayola markers. This style, excuse me, now I got the hiccups. This style, probably more than I use my super tips because these are just the super fine line. Um, th there's a purpose for everything in coloring. So this has two packs. Interesting. It says it's all these colors. Now I did notice they must be changing their marketing. So if you are shopping for the Crayola, double check because some of them said bold and bright and some had like the teacher's part bolder. So just check your colors because I was comparing the boxes thinking I needed both and there was maybe a few color differences and the other thing, the colors were the same. So I don't need to pull them out. This is... I should have one right near me. Yeah, this is the style of the marker. And it's very fine, but I use these a lot in any kind of coloring, especially even in my Crayola books. I was, okay, this was like $20, which was a lot for me to spend on Crayola. But I had to get this, Crayola. And so these are the, the thicker markers. Oh, I don't have one here. I have these um, Crayola Silly Scents, but these are a chisel tip. And these are your larger um, point tip. So it's got three kinds of markers in here. It has the regular Ultra Clean. You can use it the whatever um, spray gun thing. I don't have that. They have some gel markers and some window markers, all washable. So I don't know how they're gonna work on paper, but I, like I said, even for the regular ones, I loved all the extra colors. Let's just look at it. Oh, never mind. So these are your standards. What do we got here? Gel and window. So I will test these out on a page or two and we'll see but yeah I was just like oh, it's kind of like the big box of crayons it's like I want it so I held off on the crayons but I did get the markers so it was like I said it was 20 bucks a little more than I would normally want to spend but I got it that was everything for Walmart one random thing from Target because I hardly ever go to Target anymore but I had to do I didn't have to but I did a order for pickup and they had these they had a couple this is you know only at Target I've seen these have been out for a while 
but I have been wanting them. So I got the fine point. I think they also have the set in the ultra fine and maybe they have a set with both. But I got this one, it's 18 count, which, now did I just get screwed? Sorry, sorry for my language. Includes five mystic gems and four metallic markers. Are these like the regular colors? Did I not get, see this is where I should have gone in the store to look. Because I think there's a full mystic gem set that is more than five. So now I'm mad at myself that I didn't go into the store to see. Can't even open this. Ugh. If they are like, these are regular or these are regular. I don't know. Do the Mystic Gems have names? Well, now I'm going to have to watch somebody's video. Obviously, black and gray are not Mystic Gems. So... I'll have to see. It's got all the colors back here. So, I mean, geode green. I don't know. I can't, their marketing confuses me. And I was like an advertising marketing. That's what I went to school for and I'm confused by it. So, I don't know if that says about the, the marketing or me. <laughs> anyway, I'll always use Sharpies. So, we got those. And then the rest of the supplies are from Amazon. Again, let me reset. Okay, this is just to show how long it's been since I filmed. These were my Amazon Prime Day purchases, which were not very many. So I bought the Big 50 Crayola Twistables. I do enjoy using crayons and I have decided because I'm lazy, I like the Twistables better. I still may need to sharpen them, but I just like not having as much mess. If you haven't seen a Crayola Twistable, there you go. I like because it's in like a plastic case so I don't have to like get myself messy. But put them back in the box. So I got a pack of those. I think like a lot of the Crayola stuff was on special during Prime Days. I bought two of these. I had three and I took one out of my cart. So I have seen a lot of people use these and they are so handy. It's the case. It's not what's inside it. These are the cases that you can unzip and then you open up and you pull, there's little tabbies right there, you pull it down and that way you can have this standing up on your workspace and see the whatever you want. You can put pens, pencils, you can see I've got varying sizes in here. So of course I bought the cat ones, I bought the pink one, and then the only sad thing is I bought this blue one, which is perfect, but I wanted it for my Tombos and they are a little too tall so I can't close it. But I keep it like in a bag and then when I'm using it though, I can still do the thing. I just don't want it to tip over in my bag. Then I just bought these. Um, oh wait, I'll show you the other. This was the other Prime Day. I got a pencil case with adorable cool cats on it. I prefer this style where it has the flips instead of like pockets with stacks. I bought this for, it should hold all of my Arteza. I bought the, is it the Ink Onic Fine Liners? I forget the name. I had hauled those before and I wanted a case for them instead of the big tin. So that is the purpose of this case. And then I recently ordered from Amazon. I haven't taken it out of the box because it is my extra backup set of sprees, which I fell in love with after my friend Tammy Wahoo mailed me some. I'll link that video in too in the eye in the sky. So this is the set of 50. They were on like lightning deal for 11, $12. And I, love alcohol markers and I love this set. It's the perfect travel set. They're super juicy and they are a brush and a chisel. So I do like having the option of a brush. And that is all the supplies. So this won't take but a minute for you or a moment for you. I'm going to reset and get the books out for the book portion. Okay, first up are the two 
coloring magazines I purchased at Walmart or no one I get I subscribe to which is the mystery colors and this was the most recent one so I did a full flip of this again I'll put the description or the flip of the video and I show all the the answer key you can't really see much of this but um so this I did receive in the mail and then after I posted that I was chatting with a friend and she had mentioned that I might like the relaxing color so this is done by the same company the thing is I cannot find how to subscribe to this one which I don't know if I would want to because some of these I like some I don't I if some if you want me to do a full flip of this let me know otherwise I'm just gonna it's the same thing you can see these are a little more you can tell what the image is so it's not a mystery it's just a color by number but it seems to be a lot of travel type themed I'm not gonna show the answer key at this point but if you guys want a full flip of this just let me know. It's just beautiful, inspiring, relaxing colors. Sometimes they will have a theme. I just finished one in my um, 10 books to finish, which was birds and flowers. So, which is kind of annoyed me, but watch my video of this and you'll see that I'm not that annoyed. So we got those. Then my Amazon books. So if you are a drive-by or a new friend, you probably haven't heard that my husband and by all means my husband is not controlling this is not like you cannot buy coloring books this is the way to con keep myself contained from going overboard so he came up with the agreement for every finished page I earn a quarter and um, I know there are other colorists out here that have a credit system where they color so many pages they can buy a new book uh, for me, we do it a quarter a page and then at the end of the month, I basically put in the Amazon cart up to that value and then he buys it for me. Granted, we're married. The money comes from the same place, but it's the only way I can get him involved in my hobby and not annoyed <laughs> with all the coloring I do. So I this had not been in during my last haul, but this was, I know I did show it. I think in my completed pages. So this was my, I had banked some money from April and May, and this was one of the books I purchased. I do like the Disney Pixel color by numbers. So I got the love stories. I am almost done with the babies. These I plan to only purchase another one once I finish one of them, if that makes sense, because I would, again, need to have them all. So this was my one of my coloring for coins books. And then the month of June, he foolishly put a number in his head and he didn't edit it once he knew my number. He told me I could round up thinking I'd only get $10, but he said I could round up to the next 10 and I ended up getting to spend $20. So I, of course, got this one. I'm new to the Jungle Miniatures. I love Camellia Angel Cova. I have her uh, some of her other books. Uh, the Ocean Miniatures, I have done several colors coloring in and I love them. At first when the miniature series came out, it wasn't I didn't think it was for me. Now I'm in love with it. So I'm going to probably have to go back and get them all. I have the Ocean Miniatures, which was a gift from my friend Lauren, and I had purchased the Summer Miniatures, and now my husband purchased the Jungle Miniatures for me, but I may have to go and get the rest of the set because they are, they're so quick and easy to color. She has, I mean, it's a nice big image. It doesn't take up the whole, whole page. You can do a background, you can leave a blank. The images are adorable. You can accent it as much as you want or not. I can't say enough and they're five dollars 4.99 well worth it then the other one I do not have any yam puff books so I thought I want to get one they're so cute so I bought the sugary dreams a sweet and dessert themed coloring book again any of these books if people want flip throughs let me know I'm slow at doing them but I will do them holy smokes there's a bunch of there's like a whole story in the back I haven't even flipped through this yet. Okay, so there's that. And then, oh, it's a short story. And then are the pages, which are cute. Yampuff, oh, they got some black background. Some are just 
all the girls. Some are just sweets. And there's little comments on the sides. That's kind of fun. Wouldn't the frosting get all over her skirts? So these are adorable. Looks like just one copy of each page. Single sided. They are not perforated. It is um, Amazon paper, but I'm excited to get into this. A new book for me. And this one, so I am fine getting the used and slightly abused. So I have had this on my wish list for a while. And it's not the most expensive to get, but when I saw there was one that was really not expensive at all, doesn't tell me, it was like five or six bucks because the cover, can you see, it's, it's like had, it's got a story to tell and you know me, I'll find the story. So the cover, the spine is a bit damaged, but I don't care because I'm rough on stuff. Like here, this is the only page I can see has some goop from here. It's like it got run over in the warehouse or something by the forklift. But otherwise, the pages are uncolored. They're not torn, nothing wrong with them. Very excited to get the Fairy Tales book by Emily Leiderhall Oberg, if I said that right. So I was able to get this. Again, it was, I think, from a, it was under the, the used. So when you're shopping on Amazon, always look for that where they have other versions available. Usually people will have the price marked down and then the shipping jacked up so you could just get the new one with free shipping. But every now and then you'll find one from like a thrift store or the like that might just have some damage and they don't um, have the shipping crazy. So that is how I got this one for coloring for coins. Okay, we're at the end of the book haul. So I did a book outlet haul. Thank you to everyone that has used my link and given me store credit. If you have not shopped at Book Outlet before, I did not know about Book Outlet until I was out here on ColorTube. There is, what is that? Oh, my toothpicks. <laughs> like, what is, what is showing over here? Um, it is, um, I think it might, I don't know if they ship international, but they have discounted books, which they get from your big box stores, Barnes & Noble. Publisher Direct, sometimes they have slight damage. You, I've never had one colored in, but I've had similar to the last book I showed, there might be a little bit of damage. Probably has a sticker on. They usually do mark the um, the books like with a black mark, so you can't like return them to a store. We'll see if we can find one. But you will see, like I've gotten, I think, my Johanna books from there. Um, Kirby's always out there. Lulu Mayo's usually out there. So if you want to look. Plus they have regular reading books and kids books and I have a link below. If you click on my link and go shopping, you don't have to enter a code or anything just by using that link and then going direct to the website and doing your shopping. You will save $10 and then I will get store credit. So when I get store credit, I save it up and then I shop and this is what I bought. So Osborne Arts, if Osborne is like a, um, direct sales business if you're not familiar. I've done direct sales so I know the other companies because I've seen them at um, vendor shows. But I've seen them pop up there. So yay for them for helping to get um, their excess stock. So this I bought, Drawing Cartoons. It's not for me. I discovered my nephew, my 12 year old nephew is a doodler and I was able to visit them recently and he brought out, he had some coloring books that were like the doodle style that he'd colored and he, his own drawings. So I have to encourage him because I'm the best auntie. Well, I can say that, but he, you know, his other aunties are awesome too. So this I didn't get for me. It is simply for him. If this interests him or not, but for the price, it might be something, you know, it's just your basics, how to draw these characters. So I thought it could be pretty fun and to be able to encourage creativity, I am the one to do it. It's funny because my, um, 
my best friend. She's not my biological sister, but she's my best friend. So the kids, I'm their auntie. And her two older girls, I'm godmother to. And the oldest one is not crafty, but the middle child is. And mom is not crafty at all. So Auntie Kathy always sends excess craft supplies. And <laughs> now that my nephew, the youngest, is into drawing, I have to encourage that as well. So this book I have seen, I'm pretty sure I saw it on Jamie, Jamie's channel, Jamie Loves Coloring, and, or Jamie's Coloring Love. Jamie, why did I just blank out on your name? And I thought it was adorable, and they had this, and I bought two, because I didn't have it. I knew I had it on my list for me, and it's kind of, I would say like Kirby Doodles, if it was only Kirby Doodles. So... Lee Melendrez is Leah. I'm not sure if it's Leah or Lee. And the pages have, so on the left side here, they've got um, a story. And then you have to find the images in here. Or you could just color. Like, I figure I will just color. I'm not so much into the seek and find. That's the thing about Kirby books I don't care for. But these seem to at least kind of the what you're looking for goes into the page a little bit I don't know and there is an answer key so I bought two of these one for him one for me I don't know if he'll be into buddy colors but I wanted that for myself and here is another one that I have already shown on my channel that I purchased I haven't colored in it yet but I was telling him about it and his eyes just lit up like oh that sounds like something I'd like so this is Color Quest Wonderland. It is basically a word search with images. So here it's called Candy Shop, all candy themes. And then down below, it's just the words of what you're looking for. So there's many ways you could color these. You could color everything and do like these in one color or like a metallic, or you could color these and then do your background all the same. Or you could just color the images you find. Or you could do it like a search and just circle them. I mean, it's your book. Do what you want. I can't remember. Yes, it does have an answer key as well. So I bought him this, and I already have a copy. So that's for him. Then the rest of these are just for me. So I've been working more on my Johanna, and I'm working on a Forever Whip in a Kirby. So I think they had almost a lot of not the new releases of Kirby but you can see this was a Walmart book it still has the sticker on Walmart price and then this is what I meant they mark so I can't like take this to Walmart to return it um so I wanted or I got Anamorphia because I love animals and see this is the weird thing with Kirby's doodles like I love, you know, if we're just going to color the bird and then we got these like derpy little guys popping out. And that's his style. I mean, it's not that I, I mean, I like Kirby. It's just, well, how do I, do I color that realistically? Um, I'm not so big on his pages where he like, and this is his way to encourage creativity. So it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just not my thing where he wants you to like fill in the rest of the whales to doodle it. Maybe I should have got this for my nephew now that I think of it. But, and then I was looking because I thought, oh good, like then, so say I don't care so much because I don't want to do the activity, I could color the opposite side with my alcohol markers. Well, this is snakes. I don't, I don't like snakes. And then, yeah, I don't care about this. So I could have done, I could still do this if I ever want to do a snake page, but I don't. But we'll see. So this page I could do if I wanted, but because these are single-sided. So I don't, you know, everyone has seen a lot of this. We'll see, this might end up going to my nephew. We'll see if I think he would enjoy that more. He could. <laughs> Throwing the books down. This is a Crayola book, which was out there. And colorful cats and snacks. Can there be anything better? And look, we got a glittery taco with a cat. So this was kind of, I just ordered it sight unseen. Whew, my stickers are already unsticking. Um, so this is interesting. It's like these really big 
stickers and I don't get don't talk to me or my son ever again he's got a cupcake in so these so they all go even these right here are tied to a page so it's to be similar and these I think are just to use anywhere but there's pages so here it's like if it fits it sits match the space cat to its appropriate seat using your stickers and that was these right here so all of this sticker set here goes in on these two pages so these are double-sided non-perforated it's a decent paper and then so it's an activity help find the 12 cheeseburgers hiding in the garden so it's I don't know it was inexpensive I love cat I love food there'll be enough in here that I think I will enjoy whether I use the stickers in the way they intend or not <laughs> this is me if it's ever me I'm into fitness fitness cookie into my mouth please <laughs> sorry but I thought it was a cute book about that that, oh here a Johanna book now I did not ever think I would buy inky Ivy and the inky butterfly because this is a lot to color here you can see this one came from Target if you want to do the whole book and I know Nikki Niagara's group they're working on completing this whole book this year obviously that's not for me but I have found I have always loved Johanna's um, images and now I've started to color them in my worlds of wonder and I am not scared anymore. Some of these, I mean, there's a lot of detail. And since I use primarily, I'll use water-based markers, maybe I'll start to learn to play in love with pencils. But for now, I'm pretty much a marker and gel pen girl. But there's, I want to read the story. And I thought this would just be a fun one every now and then. And because the price was right, I wanted to add it to my Johanna Bassford collection. And I have one last item that I got from Book Outlet. Make sure you, when you're shopping there, you look like in the kids' toys and kits. So they have this Super Kaleidoscope Sweet Sense Activity Kit. Now I took a gamble. I think it was like 10 bucks for this. And not for sure knowing because I couldn't find a uh, flip or anything. But it's a full activity kit with a lot of packaging. So you pull it out. And there is a coloring book included. I'll show you that in a moment. And then there is, this is where there's lots of packaging. So, oh, I smell them already. They're scented. We got scented markers and pens, a roll of washi tape, and a sheet of stickers. And then this is just packaging to make it fit in that big box. So, I love scented pens and markers. I'm just a child at heart. Stickers are good. And then let's take a peek at the book. It is Sweet Sense Coloring a Book. It is Inkler Imagine. I don't see. And this is single-sided. And they are adorable. Nice thick lines, large image spaces, total mix, foods very kawaii inspired. This is cute. This will be perfect. I like to, in these books, as I mentioned, I use like water based, like my new Crayola markers I bought, or I will use gel pen or crayons even. And I do use pencils, I use just Crayola colored pencils. So this is a very cute, ooh, look at those fancy permades. And per, no, permades. And what are pup maids called? Bark maids? I don't know. But they're adorable and they're glam. Even the pearl. Oh, those aren't maids, they're jellyfish, like pup fish. I don't know, I'm making up my own names. Anyway, very adorable, very cute. So, kind of expensive because I'm sure the pens and markers are probably crap. So for this book, I don't know that it was $10 worth, but I bought it. And there, my friends, is everything I have. 
pretty big giant haul. Haven't talked to you for a while for shopping. Now you know everything I got. We're gonna just look at my little uh, little guy here while we while we say goodbye. So if, like I said, if there's a book you saw you're interested in, would like a flip, let me know. <coughs> I will have links to, I'll try to link in any video I referenced in the description box. I will also add the Amazon affiliate links for any of the books or supplies I can buy, you can find on Amazon. Otherwise, like I said, if I got it at Walmart or Dollar Tree or Target, uh, you can go to their websites or go to the store and see if you can find them. But yeah, that is a wrap, my friends. I hope you are doing well. I will try to get better about filming and posting. But until the next time, look in the mirror, look at this cute little kitty, and remind yourself, you matter. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You add so much color and brightness to this world. Thank you for stopping by. Love you guys. Bye.